Yeah. That's what I got for me today. So, when's the brace Uh, I really got comfortable with it over the offseason, like when we went on break. Um, I told myself, I know the work I put in, so I'm going to test, test it out. And I'm going to test it out before I get back to camp. So I decided I'm going to just test it out, and I felt comfortable with it. So I just went forward and, and let Shugs and the training staff know that I wasn't going to be wearing it. It was just like, you know, they comfortable with it as long as I'm comfortable with it. So. Were you nervous at all when you get that first chance? Yeah, you, you, you're going to be nervous. That's just going through the process because, you know, you're coming off a, a very serious injury. And it's your knee you talking about. So you you need that thing to operate your body. So, you know, I was nervous, but as I as I gradually got through it, I got comfortable with it. How long did it take to fully trust it again? Or do you fully trust it again? I definitely trust it again. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to have fun, ready for the vets to come back, ready for us to get out of it. But, you know, it just took for me to get back on the green grass and put my cleats on and just to, you know, tell myself it's football again. And, you know, this is something that I love to do. And it's something, you know, that, that I always want to do, you know. So, you know, it's just tough for me to get back on the grass again. Is uh, that first uh, full pad practice going to be another test in your mind? Or do you feel like you're already kind of past? Uh, it's going to be another milestone for me. You know, it, with, with this process, is all about milestones and stacking up the days and, you know, just, just putting it all together. So, you know, we could lead up to week one. But, you know, once we put pads on, that's going to be another milestone for me. So, you know, I can't wait till we put them on. So. You still think about them at all? No, I don't. I don't actually. It, it, they did what they had to do with it. They fixed it up. You know, it's a brand new knee. Um, it's my knee. <laughs> um, I put the work in, put the time in. So, you know, I fully trust it, man. It, it's full go. Have you timed yourself on anything that, to compare it pre-surgery to what what you're at now? No, nah, you must be seeing me run, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, I, I definitely. I feel like I, I definitely got stronger in a lot of places. And, you know, a lot of credit to Uwe, training staff, you know, my teammates, just for having trust in me and, you know, just pushing me so much. So, you know, I got I got to thank, thank those individuals, you know, and my family. So, you know, I do feel a lot stronger, though. It seemed like you were doing more at minicamp than you have done so far here. What What's the reason for that? It's, it's, it's about time, you know. It's about time for me to start testing this thing out. And, you know, the whole coaching staff, they got a, the coaching staff, the training room, they got a plan for me, and I know that. So, you know, whatever plan they got for me, my, my goal is to execute it. And, you know, I'm going to do that 100%, and I'm going to do it full speed. So, you know, whatever plan they got for me, I'm just going to execute it. You said stronger, do you feel faster? <laughs> Y'all going to find out. <laughs> but I definitely, I, I definitely feel like, you know, I got, I, got, I, got, I got stronger, and I definitely feel like, you know, I took a big step, you know, from from last year. What you haven't been able to do yet is put on pads and test it out. What what do you think that's going to be like, and is there any apprehension? It's going to be football. I can tell you that. That's the number one thing, you know. I always put in my head, football is football. You know, I don't I don't came off an injury before. I don't came off a shoulder injury. I don't came off an injury. It's just all about going out there and putting that in the back of your mind, and just knowing that you worked hard enough and you and you put the hours in to go out there and compete at a high level, just like everybody else. So, you know, I'm ready to put the pads on. I'm ready to go. How much can you take from your rookie season? I know it was short, but the confidence gained and just the things you were able to do in that short amount of time you were on the field? It's all about going out there and knowing you can compete with everybody else. And I knew that from day one. You know, I've been playing football since I was four years old. And, you know, I'm just picking up where I left off at. And, you know, just get even better from there. So, you know, I'm going to pick up where I left off at because this football, I love to do this, you know. I grew up doing this. This is all I know. So, you know, to go out there and get a chance at the game again, you know, it's just God. And I, and I thank him for that. And, you know, I'm going to give it all I got. Did you surprise people with how quickly you took the league by storm in that short amount of time? No, nah, I hope I did. Uh, you know, you know, this, this organization drafted me for a reason. That's to come in and make plays and help them win football games. And that was my number one goal coming into, the, coming into this thing. You know, I'm going to help this team win football games. I'm going to do whatever I can. So. That's my same mindset, and you know, I just hope nobody's not surprised no more. Hope I'm in the game plan. What's your impression of the offense with, with Coach Flip? I love Coach Flip. I love the energy. Um, Coach Flip, he's a high-level guy. He want he want things done, you know, the way he want things done, and that's and that's what any any coach that want perfection, you know, they want they want things done a certain way. But 
his play calling is his play calling. Man. The scheme he got, I love it. You know, he just want the best guy with the ball in his hand. And we got a lot of guys that can take it to the house. Last couple for Dalvin. How do you think your role will change because it is a new offense with a new quarterback? Whatever, whatever my role is, you know, I'm, I'm going to play at 100%. You know, whatever my role is. And, you know, I don't know yet. Everybody's still trying to identify themselves in the offense. You know, that's why we're here for camp. And, you know, we're going to have our bumps and bruises. But, you know, whatever my role is, I'm going to give it all. And, you know, I, I just hope it's, you know, enough to win, to win a lot of football games. Last one. How is coming off that injury going to make you better this season? Um, you know, going, going through the whole process, it's, it's mind testing. It's going to test you a lot, you know. It's going to. It's going to make you question football. But, you know, once you get back in the groove of things and get back and going to things, you get stronger as you go. And I can say that, you know, I got stronger as I went. And, you know, it's transformed over to the football field. So, you know, I just think it, it got me stronger and ready for what's about to come for this season. Appreciate y'all.